I have so many fun projects online using the Color Arts Airbrush Kit that I wanted to share some tips with you, um, some things that I kind of learned the hard way. First of all, when you get your kit, you're going to have everything inside here that you see. You're going to have the spray nozzle, the compressed air, and it comes with three colors. Your spray nozzle is going to look just like this. So my first dilemma was how do I attach the spray nozzle? And I kept trying to do it this way. Wrong. Here's what you want to do. You want to take this part off. So you take that off, save this. Okay, that's important because this will protect your nozzle if you ever want to use it again later. And then just simply screw it onto the top of your compressed air and you can hear when it's ready. Now, one other tip, when you're not using the compressed air, make sure you remove the nozzle. Uh, that way air won't leak out and you'll be able to use this a lot. I can get about four t-shirts out of one canister. Okay, now when it comes to the paint pouches, what you want to do is knead the pouch because that mixes up the paint colors just in case if they've been sitting a while. And especially important if you're using any of the metallic -y paints because the glitter metallic -y color kind of settles in the bottom. So it's really important to knead those. And of course, you always want to make sure that you're kneading your paint with your cap on. <laughs> That's pretty important. So also, something to remember, in the back, each pouch has this little adjuster for a wide angle spray or a narrow angle spray. Make sure that you close your cap or you close the adjuster and put your cap back on when you're not using your paint. That will make sure that it's always ready to go. Okay, when it comes to stenciling, now the stencils, each package has four different four different stencils inside. But I happen to like this one particular stencil in here, so I wanted to use just that stencil on this pillow. So here's a good idea. If there's one stencil in there that you really love, buy more than one package because you can use the stencil, you know, one, two, or three times and spray it all at the same time. It'll save you a ton of time in the long run, especially if you're doing, you know, accessories that all match and everything. Okay, now one more tip about stencils. When you're using your stencil, of course, it would be a good idea to clean it. I never do that. You should, I don't, but you don't have to. But when you're done using the stencil, just attach it to a piece of wax paper. That way the back will remain tacky and you can peel it off and use it over and over and over again. And one last important note that when you're using your paint pouch and before you spray anything onto your fabric or whatever, make sure you test it first. Make sure that you're getting the right amount of spray before you spray it. And that way, if you're not, you can fix it and you're not ruining your design. And also, just wipe the tip off every once in a while to keep it clean. And that way, you are totally insured of a beautiful, airbrush project every single time. More tips, all you have to do is log on to the website and go into the library and you can see all other, a bunch of other projects that I include other tips along the way as well. Okay, so happy airbrushing.